Hi students, good morning, good afternoon. Um, glad to have you back for another English lesson. Today we are looking at some specifically difficult, some particularly difficult vocabulary for pronunciation with also some very similar definitions between these difficultly pronounced or difficult to pronounce words. So today we're thinking about vocabulary, but we're especially focusing on this vocabulary for the um, pronunciation. The first group we're going to talk about is the word specific, specifically, specific, and specifically. These words meaning um, particular, one, thinking about one thing. A specific day, specific, specific, specifically. And then our very similar word of Pacific, thinking about the Pacific Ocean, Pacific, Pacific, specific, 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 Pacific. Um, a quick note about the word specifically, specifically, really my beautiful British pronunciation, my clear pronunciation, I might hear five pieces, specifically, specifically. My quick, shortened English pronunciation, I hear specifically, specifically, specifically. And then we have our word special, specially, that feeling of particular, there's a distinct purpose, um, a special day a special person, a special cup. That cup has one purpose, a special cup, a special tool. Specially as the adverb, the same feeling of one purpose, distinct purpose, um, a specially designed car, specially written document. Different from our word especially, with the letter E at the beginning, um, that word especially still has the feeling of particular, but has that feeling of wonderful, amazing, um, especially difficult, would be exceptionally difficult, extremely difficult, especially um, trained, would be exceptionally trained, very well trained, um, for example, specially trained dogs, we are thinking of one purpose. Specially trained dogs can help blind people to navigate. The team played especially well, exceptionally. The team played especially well during the FIFA World Cup. Our last piece of um, supposed to, supposed to, supposed to, becoming supposed to, Different from our word of posed, supposed, supposed to, posed, which means arranged or organized. And then our adverb with the ly of supposedly, again, supposedly, which condenses down to supposedly, supposedly. As always, we like to take all of these words that are similar for spelling, similar for pronunciation, and I like to put them into a longer phrase, into some longer sentences, so you can hear them naturally pronounced um, compared to each other, and you can make those differences in the distinguishing of the sounds for the different words. So, I had one specific problem. I wanted to see the ocean, specifically the Pacific Ocean in Seattle, Washington. I booked a special trip specifically for myself and my husband. We planned an especially beautiful vacation. We were supposed to go on Friday, but supposedly the travel agent lost our information. This posed a special problem for us. We had no tickets and a specially planned trip. Blah, 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 blah. Um, put yourself into some sentences, try out using these words of specific, specifically, different from our word of pacific, specific, 
a word of special, specially, different from our word especially, with the E having that feeling of exceptional, really, really well, really great, especially, compared to specially, meaning distinct for one purpose. And then our word of suppose, supposed to, supposedly, and posed. As always, leave some sentences in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, students.